it's me, and today I'm gonna be trying some TikToks to see if they actually work so you don't have to. All right, so this filter is supposed to show you what you would look like as an emoji, so let's see. Ah! <laughs> what is that? Why is it flesh colored and not yellow? I don't like it one bit. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna do the emoji filter. <laughs> okay, I was supposed to like not look and then just. I can't even make a face or anything. It's just that one face. This is ugly. Ooh. What if I did a little dance right now? It's kind of lame how it's just that one emoji face. Like, I already saw it. I thought it was gonna give me another one. Are my expectations too high? Like, I thought I could make a face and it would turn into another emoji face, or my face specifically would transform into one emoji face, but then we got this. We're going like a ball sack with a tongue and an eye. I hate it. Have you been tying your shirts the wrong way? Okay, you make one knot and then you double knot it, right? Why is that the wrong way? That's how I've been doing it. Why is it wrong? Is there a better way to do it? She looped it around her finger and then put that through the hole and then you pull and it's... Oh, it's perfect. Like the two ties? Perfect. Okay, I guess I have been doing it wrong because this looks so much better. Let's see if I remember how to do this. You tie it once and then you take one, wrap your finger around and then take the other side and then just... Whoosh through the loop de hole. Oh, I remembered how to do it. And it worked! Okay, that's actually a very good hack because I always wondered how people like tied this and made it look perfect. Because otherwise, when I tie things, I tie it like one and then two. It kind of looks the same. Well then. So they poured Coke into a small, medium, and large fast food cup, and you're telling me that it's the same amount? There is no way. I don't believe this one bit. We're still gonna try it. So I went to Arby's because they had no line and I asked my sister to go in and get me some cups because I'm shy. And as you can see, there is a kid size, small, medium, oh, there's another one. Large and extra large. Come on now, you think this amount of liquid is the same amount of liquid as this? I don't think so. So I'm gonna take that out of the equation. The kid size cup is very small. I'm not, that's a water cup. I ain't even gonna count that. So now you're left with these three. So I filled the small one up with water. I'm gonna pour it into the medium. There's space left, a good amount of space left. And then we're gonna put that into the large. And it's a little more than half, so I'm gonna call it cap. Look at this, even a blind person could see that the large has more liquid than the small. Like, are you stupid? Do these look like the same amount? Not even close. Look at that, large into the small. Small into the medium. Medium into the large. Y'all have to waste my time with this one. Now, if you're talking about the amount of ice they put in the drinks, that's a whole nother story. Greatest food combination of all time, Oreos and sour cream. Welcome to another installment of Cracker Cuisine, Ooh. where I try gross stuff so you don't have to. Fat lump of sour cream. This ain't a taco, this is an Oreo. Oh, the okay, two people said it was good, that's good enough for me. I like how I can actually do these hacks now because Oreo makes gluten-free Oreos that taste exactly like the regular ones. So I ain't missing out anymore. Oreo, take a spoonful of sour cream. This belongs on tacos, not on Oreo. But here we are. Hmm, that's weird. It's not bad, but it's weird. It's like a pregnancy craving. The plain Oreo tastes better by itself. An Oreo's an Oreo, baby. I prefer it in milk. Oreo and milk, top tier. You cannot beat that. Not with sour cream, not with nothing. I don't think it's worth it. I bought a whole thing of sour cream just for this hack. Want a bite? Yes. <laughs> a bite. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It kind of tastes like Oreo cheesecake at first, and then you're like, wait, it kind of tastes like, like yogurt. No, it's good. It's good? Is there something wrong with me? Next up on the menu, we got Doritos and cottage cheese. And allegedly, it's out of this world bussin'. I like cottage cheese. Well, if you like that, you're gonna love this next one. If I can open the dang cottage cheese, why it open like that? I love cottage cheese. I can eat this out the bag. But when you put Doritos in the equation, we may or may not have a problem. I usually like the cool ranch ones, but for the sake of this, we're gonna try it. Mmm, I like that. That's very good. You like a cottage yes, cheese man. burrito? It's not bad. It's like crunchy cottage cheese without yeah. tasting sussy. I'm going for another one. I think I haven't had Doritos in so long that they actually taste good. This is just my excuse to eat more cottage cheese. Delicious. I don't know how y'all come up with these. Damn. 
You can make tape into stickers. You know, I knew there was a way, but I wasn't exactly sure how. So on regular paper, you draw whatever you want to make a sticker. Put it on some parchment paper. Cover it with some tape. Peel the parchment paper. Oh, okay. It took me a second, but I know exactly how to do this. And I've done it before, and it's very cool. Wax paper. We are going to make one sticker and one sticker only. I'm gonna put tape over the wax paper and then we're gonna take a regular piece of paper and then draw something on it. I'm going to draw ash. Uh, this is probably one of the worst things I've ever drawn, but it's okay. There it is. <laughs> what? It looks <laughs> Exactly. So I'm going to take this masterpiece. I lost the tape. There we go. I'm gonna cover it in tape and then tape the tape. And then we're gonna cut out the sticker shape. There is no way I am cutting around these lines. I got this. Okay, I have sticker. Now it's supposed to just peel like a regular sticker and I can stick it anywhere. Now if only I could peel the back. <gasps> oh wait, wait. I peeled off a part of it and it's sticky, but what about the rest? How does this make sense? Very difficult to peel. But sticker, stick. Not the very sticky sticker. What stick? I know we did a fruit roll-up hack, but this one's even better. So she took the rainbow one and put sorbet into it. Rolled it up, put it in the freezer. Goodness, that looks delicious. It's like a mochi ice cream, but it's crunchy on the outside and soft sherbet on the inside. You know, for the longest time, I thought sherbet and sorbet were the same thing. Very surprised they actually had fruit roll-ups at the store today. Because the store I go to, everything I ever need is usually sold out. Especially if it blows up on TikTok. But here, I was able to get the rainbow fruit roll-up. <gasps> this is the one with the instant tattoos. I forget how you do this. You lick it once and then you press it against your skin. And then you peel it off. <gasps> instant tattoos on fruit roll-ups. Insane. And then you just lick it off. Destroy all the evidence. Anyways, we're gonna roll this bad boy up. I got some Baskin Robbins sherbet. Ooh, this is the best kind. Ooh. That's pretty. Just take a scoop of that. And a scoop for me. Mmm, delicious. And then roll this bad boy up. See how hard that is? Already freezing. Pop it in the freezer. One hour later. So I almost forgot this in the fridge. Hear that crunch? Mmm. But this is way better than the first time I did this because it's actually crunchy now. Still gets stuck in your teeth. Mmm, that's good. It is very sweet. It's like a fruity pebble milk tea. Look at that. Beautiful. Oof. Delicious. But too sweet for me. I think I prefer the vanilla ice cream. I've seen this clip go around TikTok where they take a glass of water, cover it with a tissue. There is no way. I'm a little curious, but also not buying it. Like a tissue, a flimsy little piece of toilet paper is gonna cover the force of that water. No way. What an adhesion is this? That is why we must try it out. I already know, this isn't gonna work. There is no way this can work. It is a toilet paper roll. This thing can barely make it through two wipes. And you're gonna tell me it's gonna stop all of this water in a baby Coke can. Wait, 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 wait. Hold a second, hold on a second. It just did, it actually just did. Oh no, it ripped apart. Hold on, I'm gonna try it again, check this out. I put it over the top and then Magic! What scientific property is this? Cohesion? I can literally shake it. The salami lid ain't gonna hold the salami. <laughs> there's no way. Look, there's water in here. Liquid. Okay, now it's starting to leak. It can only handle so much. I cannot believe this. Haha. <laughs> Haha! <laughs> Magic! Why don't they show us this in science class? I would've been so interested in science if y'all just did this. I would've paid attention. Welcome to Dairy Queen! You order m and Blizzard? <laughs> I never knew how little noodles were in the cup. That's it? I've seen pictures of this, I've seen videos, but I've never actually tried it out myself. Like, cut a cup of noodles in half and see how little noodles they are. These are so cheap because literally half of it is air. Instant noodles! Rip this bad boy open. I'm very allergic to this, so let's make it quick. 
Oh, it smells so good. You know, when I first found out that I couldn't eat gluten, giving up the cup of noodles was probably the most painful. I don't know, I just love these. So we're just gonna cut this in half. I don't wanna make a mess, so I'm just gonna cut through the styrofoam. I'm gonna try to salvage the noodles. I thought you had to pour the packet in, but powder's already poured in. Oh! the doorway to the scam. I just cut it open and it's, look, it's literally half. Half of this is noodle and then the, the other half is air. I mean, to be fair, you fill up to the line with water and then you would have never knew half of it was noodle until you opened it. This is like 99 cents. That is what 99 cents gets you. That much noodles. I would love to eat this right now. But yeah, here it is, the inside. Finger for reference, nothing there. They really made this filter because y'all were lying. Wait, it took me a hot second, but you can actually do this and it'll zoom in now. There's a filter for it. Hmm. So I have the filter open right here and I'm just gonna... <gasps> it works. Wait, going more. Oh, it's working. <gasps> zoom in more. Okay, now zoom out. No, zoom out. It's too close. Zoom out. How to zoom out? Is it only zoom in? Okay, it doesn't zoom out. It only zooms in. And this is too close. But it works. Hair in your brush, literally comb it out. I mean, can you just take the brush and just pull it out? Y'all making things more difficult than they should be. My brush doesn't have a lot of hair in it, so, um, I know my hair looks like I never brush it, but I don't. Can you add some hair to the hair pile? Lots you have a lot of hair. Of hair. <laughs> you must contribute to the hair pile. It is your job as a lady in this house to pay your contribution. All right, I think I got enough on this bad boy. So we're just gonna, ooh, she really haired it up. I'm gonna take a comb. It's weird, cause like the ends of the bristles have a bulb and I don't know how it's gonna like, can't do this in one fell swoop. I feel like I'm gonna ruin the hairbrush. I think I need a bigger comb. Okay, if this was a different hairbrush, it might have worked better. But I mean, there's always the good old fashioned way where you just pull it off. Is it that difficult? Well, bam, clean as it's gonna get. Whenever I play rock, paper, scissors with a man, I always do paper first because my psychology teacher- Does it only work against guys? Rock, paper, scissor me. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. First try, got him. Is there first thing to do rock? Okay, I'm gonna try this on digital next and I bet he, he's gonna do scissors or something. There's no way this actually worked. Before I call digital, I have to like mentally remind myself like I'm doing scissors, he's gonna do paper. I'm gonna predict his movements. I feel like this isn't gonna work and he's gonna do scissors too. But anyways, okay, FaceTime. I never FaceTime anybody. Hello, pick up. Hello. Hello. Okay, let me see your hand, your whole hand. The whole hand. Okay, we're gonna do one game of rock, paper, scissors. Over FaceTime? Yeah, no cheating. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> okay, hold on. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No, you did it. It didn't work. You were supposed to do paper. You saw my thing and then you just went like <laughs> you kept going. Why did you keep going? There was a delay. I'm done with you. I've had enough of you. You just got outplayed. Okay, bye. <laughs> I knew it would have worked on him. I knew he was gonna do scissors because I've played rock, paper, scissors against him before, and he always does scissors first. This did not work. Need to find another man to try this on. <laughs> but that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my hat. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the face. Comment below which one of these would you actually try. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.